With a $694 billion market cap, Tesla Motors is the largest car company. The name Tesla came from the well-known scientist Nikola Tesla. It was Nikola Tesla who invented AC power. His invention made it possible to distribute electricity in every home. In 1895, Tesla built the world's first hydroelectric power plant at Niagara Falls. In 1911, he assisted in the construction of the first radio system that enables wireless communications between North America and Europe. If you search Thomas Edison on Google, it has around 65 million results, while Nikola Tesla has half of the results. From there, it looks like Thomas Edison liked to market himself. And Thomas Edison was very popular until Tesla Motors became popular which made Nikola Tesla very popular. Nikola Tesla today has a very big following and he is considered a hero of the 20th century, while the same following labeled Edison as a villain. Want to know how a man who never marketed himself became one of the most popular inventors today? Watch the full video. We at Business Chronicles tell the story of extraordinary successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us in making more videos. Nikola Tesla was born on July 10, 1856 in Smilgen, a small village in the then Austrian Empire. The village now rests in the present-day Crotia. His father was Muleton Tesla, and his mother was Duke Amandic. Nikola had four siblings, three sisters, and an older brother. Many of Nikola's relatives were bright. His father, Muleton, and uncle were professors of mathematics, though his father later embraced the clergy and became a full-time Orthodox church priest. His mother, Duca, was an exceptionally creative inventor, as were her father and grandfather. She invented many contraptions to make household and farm work easy. Nikola's older brother was also extraordinarily gifted, but passed away in a horse riding accident while young. As a young boy, Nikola was a voracious reader. He would devour volumes of books in his father's library, often hiding in the library and reading all night. He'd also invent contraptions regularly. His first was a hook and fishing tackle he made to help him catch frogs with his friends. Another of his early inventions was a playful pop gun he made using a hollowed tube, piston, and two hemp plugs. He also regularly tore apart his grandfather's clocks and tried reassembling them. All these he did before he was six years old. In 1861, Nikola attended primary in Smilgen and studied arithmetic, German, and religion. In 1870, after finishing middle school, he went to the Higher Real Gymnasium. It was here that he cultivated his love for physics and mathematics. He was particularly fond of demonstrations involving electricity and would impress his teacher by performing integral calculus in his head. He graduated in 1873, one year earlier than other students. Nikola was prone to many illnesses while he was young and once contracted cholera that was so bad he was bedridden for nine months. His father, who wanted him to be a priest, even promised him that if he got through the cholera, he would take him to a top engineering school. Nikola got over the disease, and in 1875, joined the Imperial Royal Technical College in Graz. In Graz, Nikola dedicated himself to studies, starting his learning at 3 a.m. in the morning and finishing at 11 p.m. at night. He did nine exams in his first year, twice the necessary number, and passed all with the highest grades. His teachers praised him, but were concerned he would finish himself by overworking. Nikola never completed his studies at the college, though. He left in his third year. After leaving school, Tesla briefly found work in the town of Maribor, Slovenia, as a draftsman. He later returned home to Gospic in 1879. Unfortunately, his father died in April 1879 from an illness. Tesla worked at a local school in Gospic for some time. In January 1880, his uncles arranged for him to go to Prague, where he could study. Unfortunately, he arrived late and could not enroll at Charles Ferdinand University. In 1881, Tesla moved to Hungary. He was supposed to work in the Budapest Telephone Exchange, but when he got there, found that the company was yet to commence operations. He moved to the Central Telegraph Office and worked there as a draftsman. His engineering skills made an impression on the Inspector-in-Chief, and he was given roles relating to calculus and design for the new telephone exchange. When it was up and running, Tesla was appointed its chief electrician. At the exchange, Tesla was able to utilize his inventive capabilities. He perfected several apparatus at the exchange, including the telephone repeater. 
In 1882, Tesla moved to Paris on the invitation of Tivadar Puskas, who had also offered him his Bucrest job. In Paris, he would work in the Continental Edison Company, installing incandescent lights. In this job, he gained plenty of practical experience with electricity systems, a topic that he had been interested in since childhood. He also traveled to other cities in France and Germany to perform repairs at power plants. On top of gaining experience, Tesla got to interact with several Americans, including Charles Batchelor, an assistant to Thomas Edison. Once he had proven himself a competent electrical engineer, Tesla made a proposal to his managers to improve their generating dynamos and motors. They approved the proposal, and Tesla developed enhanced equipment that improved the efficiency of the electricity company. From 1883 to 1884, Tesla was deployed to Strasbourg, Alsace to fix a lighting plant. He worked diligently there, returning the plant to functionality, and then returned to Paris where Mr. Batchelor asked him to emigrate to America to work with him at the Edison Machine Works. Tesla agreed. Tesla began working for Edison in 1884. His first assignment was to fix the lighting machines of the SS Oregon. He worked all night on the steamer, only leaving at 5 o'clock in the morning when he had fixed it. His skill and work ethic drew the awe of Mr. Edison, who later gave him full freedom to direct work. Tesla worked long hours regularly. At Edison, he started work at 10.30 a.m. and worked all the way to 5 a.m. the next morning without taking a day off. He, however, never stayed long at Edison Machines. He left after six months owing to a dispute with management over a bonus. In that period, he had developed 24 different types of standard machines for the company. In 1885, Tesla partnered with businessman Benjamin Vail and Robert Lane to form Tesla Electric Light and Manufacturing. Through it, Tesla developed a patent to improved direct current or DC generator. In 1886, he finished developing an arc lighting system for municipal and factory installation. He even installed new electricity systems in Rahway, New Jersey. In 1886, however, Tesla had a fallout with his partners after he proposed to make alternating current, or AC motors, and electrical transmission tools. The partners did not want to go into manufacturing and were content running a utility. They abandoned Tesla and formed their own company. Tesla even lost the patents he applied for as they were assigned to the company. The inventor got into hard times afterward, living by an earnings of electrical repair jobs. He even dug trenches for $2 a day. In 1887, Tesla parted with Alfred Brown and Charles Peck to form Tesla Electric Company. The company created a new thermomagnetic motor running on AC. The invention garnered plenty of publicity for Tesla as AC was widely used in North America and Europe. In 1888, George Westinghouse of Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing entered into a lucrative deal with Tesla Company for the motors. The company received $60,000 for the motor designs and $2.5 for every AC horsepower the motor produced. Westinghouse even hired Tesla, paying him $2,000 a month. Tesla secured more than 30 patents during this time. Notably, it was during the late 1880s that Tesla and Westinghouse worked together to prove the electricity distribution efficiency of AC over DC, which was preferred by Edison. AC eventually won the current wars. The money from the Westinghouse deal made Tesla wealthy. In 1889, he rented his own premises in Manhattan, hired staff, and made his most notable works over the coming 12 years. These included the Tesla coil. Working off Hendrik Hertz's discoveries of electromagnetic radiation, Tesla erected a tower with an oscillating transformer on top. It was called the Tesla coil, and shot high-voltage, low-current AC electricity to surrounding coils through the air. Tesla patented the Tesla coil in 1891, the same year he earned his U.S. citizenship. He went on to pose that he could advance the technology to support a wireless lighting system. He even held numerous demonstrations on stage at colleges of how he could light Geisler tubes and light bulbs from across the stage. However, the wireless electricity venture never took off, despite spending the majority of the 1990s on it. Other inventions by Tesla included the magnifying transmitter, 
Tesla turbine, and Shadowgraph. He even piloted a remote-controlled boat and experimented with X-ray imaging. Between 1892 and 1894, Tesla was vice president of the American Institute of Electrical Engineers. He was also an advisor of Edwin Dean Adams on the installation of an AC power generating system at the Niagara Falls. By the 1900s and several failed experiments in wireless electricity, Tesla ran out of money. On top of that, his investors, including prominent financer John Pierpont Morgan, backed out after realizing they could not commercialize his wireless electricity. In addition, most of his U.S. patent protections had run their course, and when World War I broke out, Tesla lost the patent payments he received from Europe. Tesla again faced at a protracted period of financial hardship he moved from hotel to hotel, living there for months, racking up huge bills and then leaving. All the while, he kept reading voraciously and experimenting, often all through the night. In 1934, Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company gave Tesla a consulting role that paid $125 a month, on top of a housing allowance. In 1937, aged 81, Tesla got into a midnight road accident, breaking some ribs and injuring his back. He, however, refused to go to the hospital. He died on January 7, 1943 from heart complications in his hotel room at the Hotel New Yorker. At the time, he had received about 300 patents worldwide for his inventions. Nikola Tesla was born to a family of mathematics which helped him get to the ideal environment to become an inventor. He worked hard and worked for legends of time like Thomas Edison and George Westinghouse. He got the resources from these successful and rich inventors and invented AC power which is used in every household. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this.